Hello guys, I'm back again. <laughs> yeah, uh, I was thinking since I have the form to do another video today, so I might as well just try to explain what I did for on the bass this morning for uh, this song called God Will Make A Way In G. Okay, so uh, before I start on the bass, let me just introduce you to a few uh, chords <coughs> that were being used. Okay. Uh, basically, the first uh, line of that song, uh, it stays at the root. G, G root, okay? So this is the G chord, okay? The G root is here, okay? On the top string, third fret, okay? This will be your G root. So the song goes like this, okay? It's G, and then it goes D over G. So it's basically a D chord on the G root. So you go, it sounds like this, okay? And the next chord will be a C chord, okay? Okay, basically you uh, will press your C chord with your pinky, your C root, and then you press the uh, G root okay, with your fourth finger. Okay, your normal C will be C bass, C on G will be a G bass. Okay, so the song goes like this. God will make a way where it seems to be no way. This is a G on B. Love and strength for each new day He will make a way for me He will be my guide Hold me closely to His side With love and strength for each new day He will make a way He will make a way Okay, so on the bass, okay, basically on the bass, I will follow the drum beat, okay, especially the bass drum of the drum set, okay. So, for example, if the drums is playing like, so on the bass, I'll go like, General guideline for bass, you follow the drum beat of the bass drum. Okay. Okay. So what happened was that uh, in the first sentence, the first stanza, uh, when the root stays on the G, sometimes it can get a bit boring, you know, like uh, God will make a way when there seems to be no way. So you go G all the way. So Maybe it might feel a little bit um, bland, like there's no color to it. So we can add a bit of color by playing all the different G's. Like for example, there's a higher G over here. Okay, this on your your uh, uh, second top string on your tenth fret. Okay, next one will be here. Okay, on the uh, third string, uh, fifth fret. Okay, over here. <coughs> okay, so. One thing you can do, uh, okay, difference between this one and this one, although it's the same note, is that this one has give you a bit more room for you to slide. Okay. Okay, for, whereas for this one is, uh, for, for this note, it's an octave apart from the root G, so it's more convenient for you to play. Yeah. So, what we'll do will be something like, God to make a way when it seems to be no way He works in ways we cannot see He will make a way for me He will be So, uh, sometimes you can do a bit of feelings like So, if this is a G, it's a major note So, some of the notes you can run is something like that yeah. He will be my guide Hold me closely to His side with love and strength for each new day He will make a way He will make a way Okay, now come to the bridge Okay, By the roadway, this is the E flat In the wilderness F, He'll lead me Lead rivers in the desert will I see G 
Heaven and earth will fade And his work will still remain He will do something new today God will make a way Where there seems to be no way He works in ways we cannot see He will make a way for me He will be my guide Hold me closely to His side With earth and strength for each new day He, he will make a way, way you can do a bit of an octave like for example the A note right yeah you can do a one five one so you can play a, a A E A so these are all fill-ins uh. so in between notes okay you can do this to fill out the spaces so he will make a way he will make a way So for example, when you go from A minor to a D, you can do like a yeah. So instead of going like a for, from a A D, you can do like A hammer. You hammer on a B. So before you go to the go back to the A, you can. Okay, so you're just following along with the scale with notes that are diatonic to the root okay. Okay, so sometimes another thing that I like to do is I will do like a, a ninth so for example I will do like a A E B okay. and if it's a minor chord I will do like a Then a major chord. Right. So these are some of the things that you can um, try out lah. Yeah, just to fill in. So have fun. Uh, it's not a difficult instrument to play. Uh, you can you can just I mean if you can play a basic groove uh, on the root note, actually it's good enough to function. Uh, don't worry so much about the fill-ins and the uh, vocabulary, you know, you can actually, all these things will be added on uh, as you uh, as you explore the instrument, as you surf more, yeah. But rather, uh, and, and you can actually practice your bass, uh, start to practice your bass without a bass guitar, you can actually use the fir uh, top four strings of your uh, acoustic guitar, yeah, just to have a feel of it first, yeah, but if you want to um, uh, surf in church, you know, with uh, a bass guitar, uh, it's relatively just a few couple of hundred dollars you know you, you can get a pretty decent bass to play with yeah just like this one it's like relatively not expensive and it's functional yeah so yeah hope you enjoy thank you bye bye